Hey guys, this is Alistars. Um, in this video, I am going to take you through the airbase in, up in D4. Now, uh, there is a lot of loot on this place, so I'm gonna show you how I do my loot run. Uh, when I go inside the area, then I will show you both um, the three alphans over there and the small loot area that is at the very top. No, let's go straight in. There is, as you can see, one, two, three, four, and the fifth door at the back. And those four doors over here all have World War II bunker on top of them and all have loot. P pretty good loot that you can go for. Alright, the way you gotta do it, you gotta wait for this little dude over there to get back uh, on his path back to the right and the one on the left to not be coming up to us at the same time so it's up to you where you go into the gates I do prefer to go into this one in particular simply because of my loot run all right let's just gonna turn around thank you this one might be coming but we should be able to at least get down up to here we can check it's not there yet all right don't bother opening those doors they take way too long to open well too long always check uh, for mines inside those metal bars because people love to hide bombs in there so same here no let's get into it as you can see, they left all planes in there. I'm not sure why, but that's just to at least have some volume and some way to hide, I guess, when you're getting in. I usually always close the door behind me when I am uh, on a server, not to, to let everyone know that I am here. So we've got two boxes here, easy. Four more boxes here. Two suitcases. Gear spawns on the ground in different places. No. Our biggest enemy here, you have the mechs, of course, but the explosive zombies can be where it is difficult to deal with them. So I'm gonna take care of this one. It's slow. I only have medium. Uh, well, melee weapon as you can see and I have full stealth but that is extremely important all right so you got a few items that's mostly going to be about uh, construction, uh, construction nails of course the electric gear repair kits anything scrap metal all right we got to wait for this little dude to go all the way to the right but I'm gonna need to go and hide behind this before it does so the first room I'm going to do is gonna be on to the left side this is the pretty much the biggest uh, loot area that you can go to I'm gonna have to wait for him to come back just gonna wait here right behind me here try not to get this puppet attracted to me I'm just walking for now, and jogging. I want some far enough, I can run. So, you can find screwdrivers, toolboxes, electrical repair kit, of course, uh, into those smaller toolboxes. And uh, so, don't forget to look for them. You can search this type of stuff right here. So, AP APMO, Metal Quiver. And you can search all of those blocks independently there is other parts of it on which uh, the three boxes are s s all s um, s being searched at once so you don't get to search more uh, more of this than you would you wish you could you have sometimes the guns as spawns here and now this is where the good loot is 
the more probability for you guys to find guns. Every single one of those small boxes, you can search them. And it is the same for these. I'm just going to show you a few. I'm not searching them all, but you can see I'm finding loot and I'm finding good gear. Now there is another one. The mech is currently going to the left, so I'm good. There's another place which is right here. A bit smaller, but same thing. You can search all the boxes that are in here. There's an AK-47 engraved. We've got some 5.45 ammo laying on the ground. So this is the first room I go to when I come into airbase, usually. Now let's wait for this dude to go back on. So what is new about Airbase is that the mech used to not see you when you go into the tunnels, the small tunnels over there, and no they do. So I've changed my, the way I am doing it. I'm <coughs> just going to wait right here, wait for him to go left. And what it changes is that the other mech is a bit more in uh, uh, trouble. So. As you can see, he's only just coming over there, so I'm not going to be able to go around this time. Around, this time. So I'm going to have to wait for them to be in a s different sink, so that I can go uh, to the room that is just right around the corner on the right side. I would accelerate this fast. Uh, only have to wait for next Get the food nice. Come on, get. I'm gonna risk it, but he's gonna see me, yeah, he saw me. So this is the next room I go to. I would usually take more time, but I'd like to just show you guys where I go to. It's just about the timing, Just you just have to wait for the one on the right to be uh, going right, when this one is going left, that's all, that's all it is. He's already forgotten about me, this one is... There. Uh, you, as you can see this uh, gear that's spawned on the floor, there is a vest over there. I'm gonna wait for him. There you go. And I'm gonna go and hide there. Then I'm gonna keep on going. Woo! I should have usually wait. You don't see me anymore. I usually wait behind that electrical cable uh, over there. I did not do it this time around, I should have. That's not very nice of me to not to do that. I just, I'm a bit uh, going in there a bit too quick, so yeah. <laughs> That's mostly why I did that. Um, so yeah, see this one over there? This is where I hide when I go wait for him to go and turn to the left. So he's gonna go back on his pattern. So let's say he's coming this way. We have waited and no, we are gonna go into the next area that I like to loot. I don't usually loot those boxes out there because uh, that mech is uh, at a pattern that is, can make it very difficult to loot and very risky. It is fine to run past the mech, but it's not fine to stay still. They will eventually very, very quickly get you. Now you can search every one of those. I recommend you guys go into there. There's gears. Uh, that's a fire helmet. Don't, not really needed. But there is some vest. There is some gear that's spawning here. Bottle. As you can see, a vest. And there is more gear that's spawning here. As well as drinks and everything you need. You can search with those ones individually, the ones that are closed, of course. If you're hungry, you can get a tuna salad. I do not go in here. I don't think I've ever seen any uh, good spawn in here, uh, any uh, any gear at all. Uh, it's a, a t-shirt. It's better than nothing, but I usually don't uh, go in here. I just have a, the area, and I, then I go straight right here into the next quarters. We got pants, we can have a matching outfit. There you go. Search all of these, search in here. 
Then I go to the next one. So we search this on the way out. And we are gonna go on to left. We are gonna have to wait for this mech. Right, turn left. So my piece of advice here is to always look and be very careful, particularly in the dark, it's very difficult. Pe players absolutely love to put mine in those tunnels. This is probably the best place to put them, simply because while well, you are kind of uh, stress stressing of your own mark, you're not so much looking at the floor, you got the mech that could should be shooting at you, you're, there. you're running in there, jumping, and next time thing you know, you blow up because there is a bomb hidden in there that you could not see. You cannot put them into the dirt, but they are still difficult to uh, to see and notice and even shoot at to destroy because of the angles you can put put them right behind bricks and uh, in difficult difficult area. You can manage to you can manage to jump over them if you see one just and you don't have a gun, just do that, that's fine. Now, next area, I wait over here and I wait for that mech which co patrol this pillar to go and turn to the left. Hidden behind the plane right here. There you go. And run and straight to the left and we are gonna get into uh, the second best area uh, and in which you're gonna find a lot of loot. So you, of course you can search all of these. I know you have three uh, one, two, three, four, and five rooms that you can search. So each of those rooms have different things in it. Is some these are classrooms. You can find stuff on the floor, and you can search every one of these. You will find uh, gear in those, and another classroom in which you can find like clothes. You can find some guns sometimes. It's rare. I do believe that this one is the same one. Yep, another classroom. And search every one of these. There is some gear that do spawn into those shelves sometimes, but not often. Like this shirt here, sometimes night vision. Don't forget to search those if you're after padlocks. They're very good. Now, this one is, uh, it's got a mix loot. So military loot, but this is where it's not as good as what it was at the front. As you can see, I cannot search it anymore. Those boxes are considered as only a single one. Same for these. So if I go and search the next one, it's not going to let me. And that's the same for these. So workbands. And we have the same thing here. All the closed box, cardboard boxes you can search. Easy. Now let's go to the next last one. This one is about the medicinal stuff, so you will find your painkillers and all your uh, rags, emergency bandages, all that sort of things, you will find, any, find it in here. Not many people go in there because, well, there is not. It's not very interesting loot. And this one is um, the radio, I believe, yep, an old radio area. So you can search every one of those desks find vest, you can find clothes in those, and search with those on the side. So every one of these you can search, and there's another room right here, same thing, you can search them, get a helmet, get a bag, and we all get up. Now, next one, so we have another area which is all the way down and you only have two rooms so this one here and the other one this one here is the the room on which you're gonna find all the food that you need you will ever need you could live in the, the air base and just uh, leave of these although that's not really good because your sodium is gonna go high very quickly but you will find all the sardines or every, every food you will need is in here and if you, you can find screwdriver on those boxes or weapon clean click, let's use this one. That's the main reason I would go in there if my character was already uh, uh, at full health or I wasn't just starting on the server. 
Ah, uh, sir. Those boxes, those ones, and uh, another one. All those cardboard boxes to search, and we have more, um, even more over here. So same thing here. What you search, you only set once you search one, you have searched your entire uh, pallets. And another one, military one right here. And same thing. You don't get to search the rest of it. It's uh, counted as only one. I'm not sure exactly why the devs decided to do that. Maybe they, they thought there was going to be too much loot. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> that is quite a lot of loot that you can access fairly easily. No. no. I'm going to make my way out. It's going into... I don't usually go into the rest of the area because I find it quite difficult to get past all the mechs but I will show you I'll just show you one more thing here you can loot all those boxes individually and the big thing about it is you can do it even when the mech is there because it's not going to see you I'm sure that that will be uh, updated later on but for now you're safe here it's not going to see me it's not going to shoot at me Gonna turn in a second. There you go. He's not seeing me. You can go up to here, I do believe. And he's still not going to see me. He's gonna turn right. Well, to his left. There you go. Thank you. We're gonna wait for him. Where it gets tricky is the fact that there is two mechs patrolling this area. And that, that this the one on the right is on a, a let's say a V pattern. It only goes right and then to this way and then go back on the same way he came. So I advise you to go in here. Search his boxes, there's the red one for the screwdrivers if you want to lockpick. Search all of these. And this is usually where I just go back, turn left and uh, go back to where I came from to the, the, from the same door I, I went out but I will show you the rest I when I to want uh, to take my time in here do a big loot run so the mech does not come up to here as you can see this is a tricky part we have to wait for him to go back left and then back to, to the right I wait for this I want to turn there, there you go. So this one is gonna come back for me. Where it turned, there you go. So you go in this way. Gotta wait for this one and match with this one. Right on the wall. This tunnel is very often infected with bombs. But I will try and go through it, but not, uh, not very often. At the start of the wipe server, no issues. I'm going to go through there. There is not going to be many bombs. But after a while, I do know the habits of some players. So as you can see over there, we have an exploding zombie. So I am not going to go over there. <laughs> so the way to fight them, bow and arrow. Or throw your axe at them. Or you can, you can uh, outrun them if you want to. I've done it quite a few times. Uh, mostly running around the planes, on the hangar, but the, the only issue is if you have a skinny zombie, it's gonna run as fast, if not faster than you, and you will get in trouble with them. Then you will have to, to sh probably either shoot him, or, well, you can manage to jump on the plane, but the puppets cannot jump on them too, so it's, it is, can be difficult and tricky to escape them. They also get attracted to the nose of the door, as you can see, like we just did. Or we can just wait and he will go eventually to that door. Whoop. And then And it's just to come over. And there comes the run. <laughs> eventually it's gonna blow up because I've been there for quite a while, so it should blow up very soon. Can take care of. <coughs> Oops, missed him. So as you can see, he's just jumping on top of the plane. It's not going to stop him. Uh, 
you can also lose them if you run far enough away from them. So I'm just gonna wait for him to explode. It should be anytime soon. I'll try to keep it quiet. There is a few boxes that you can loot while I'm here. I can show you. They are all on the other side and then a few are on the pillars. There's nothing around here yet to loot. I'm sure there will be later. There you go. It's blowing up. We can go. Go back to our business. And even kill the other, the other uh, puppet for us. Perfect. And a few boxes in here. So there's. I do believe there's some here. Yep. There is. Alright. So you can trick them. You can open the door one way and then run the other one the other way. Hopefully you have the times that it does not see you. Comes here and then just stays there. But usually when you see a puppet, an exploding puppet, you know he's on. You can hear the beep. If he doesn't see you, just don't move. Wait a minute and he will explode by himself. As soon as you start hearing the beep, that's when he's close enough that he will blow up by himself. After a full minute. So yeah, this tunnel over here. Uh, is the way you can shortcut your way through, but it's risky due to the bombs. So just be mindful of that. Now let's get to the next section. Same thing, this, this uh, bunker gets full of bombs, full of mines, particularly the small, la the small one, easy to hide. You can use the trick of the boxes, but it's a bit difficult due to the, the, the lag. Just take your time, have a look through it, and you will be able to counter that. We can go through, uh, through here. We have another place we can loot right here. We got the new MP5, we got an AK-47. As you can see, there is a lot and a lot of guns that you can find around. So the new MP5 SD. Does not you can loot every single one of these again. In this type of room you can loot anything. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed but the MP5 and the MP5 uh, SD. This one is actually lighter and is already silenced. And uh, when you add all the equipment to both guns, this one stays lighter about a good kilogram on the on the half because you don't add another suppressor or another uh, another, um, yeah, and just another suppressor to it, pretty much. <laughs> so same thing, all those red boxes, uh, you can find toolboxes, you can find screwdrivers, they are really good for that. I do believe this make goes nearly all the way up, if it not does all the way up. It does go all the way up to the corner, it should stop now, there you go. And he's going to turn back. We're going to follow him. So you can hide behind all of these as you are coming through. I'm just jogging behind him right now. There is no room in here, so don't expect that if you get shot at, you can run in there and hide because you won't be able to. So he should turn left. He's turning himself to the right, of course. You can hide underneath these. It's quite risky, like I said. This area. Chuck past him. And you have another looting area right in here. On which you can find everything you need. No. Another right here on the opposite side. Then a small tunnel that leads you to the other area. I am not sure. No, it's considered as only a single one. You got to lay down here. Same thing, people put bombs, but a lot less often because it's people don't go in through here as much. Airbase is so such the one of the most difficult places to access, but it's really rewarding when you get to, to loot and get all the things you need. So we got a choice, we can come out this way. I have some more loot on the way. It's very, very doable. Um, I will actually show you guys. I'm gonna go out this way. 
um, accelerate those parts a bit. I'm just open all the doors. So I'm gonna go out this way. I'm gonna show you where you end up. You end up right in the middle. So it's not recommended for you guys to do that. You are better off just coming out onto the um, most southern side of the map over here and just go out and do your business. Maybe do the three alphans and then go back and go back into the world and come back later for another loot run. No, uh, I do believe that one of the make come up to right here somewhere. So I'm gonna have to wait until he comes over. I believe that's the one. And this, that's the one. There is one that goes around those buildings and um, go through the middle. But I do believe this one, yes, it does. It comes up to around here somewhere. So we'll accelerate that. Alright, stops here. Then turns on. I do believe it's gonna go back left, turn left. We are we can hear the other mech. No, he hasn't gone through yet. That one on the right over there only stops there and then turns around. That's the very first make that we saw that was on the left side. So he's going all the way around. No, he's not going to. He's... Took him a while. So he's gonna go all the way around and then through this hangar and then go up. Now we have another mech over there. This one goes all the way up to the front of the main hangar and then go back on back on top between the two. Um, I will go and show you upstairs, the upstairs area. It doesn't have, have a lot to loot, but it's not too too difficult to get to and to loot it. Can you climb, sir? Thank you. Character is a bit lazy, does not like to climb. Got a really nice view over here. A lot of people like to uh, stay on this area and they just uh, wait for people to come over and snipe them pretty much. You have such a nice view, but what they don't know is that uh, if they don't hide in the bush, they are very visible from a up until on, on top of those mountains over there, I've sniped people from over there to here before. I've been sniped myself from over there. It does happen, so just be careful with that. Particularly when you start making noise with the mechs, people get, are getting curious. So, World War II bunker over here. Uh, another one over there, and every one of the, the top doors got uh, bunkers. But here you are, we have the mech. That's the best way also to be for you guys to to be at um, to observe the pa make pattern where they are going what they are doing and you can see them all without getting used to all right let's get upstairs all right top area so we have only have one mech that uh, pa that control the area. That's it. So not too much worry, but he's on a very fairly short pattern. So we can go in through here, go high behind those boxes. They are all individual boxes that you can loot. But as you can see, he's going to turn around to the right, and then come back to up towards us, very very close. So you have loot in uh, both of those hangars. But as you can see, it's, it's not a lot of loot, so I do go there. Uh, uh, depends where I'm coming from to the VR base, I do go there sometimes. Uh, I would be careful when you are hiding behind those. If they see you, they can shoot through those boxes. The bullets go through that very easily. You can have killed player through that too, myself. But they shoot a way bigger caliber than the the player's caliber so just be careful with that anyway you can see there is a gun over there i do think it's a hunter not very good but uh, when you get a gun you're just happy sometimes <laughs> 
So six boxes in here. You also have se always think of searching the bins. Sometimes you find screw screwdrivers. You find uh, all sort of things. So you have boxes over there at the foot of that tower, of that radar tower. You don't have any military loot in this building over there. Only have administrative, so you can find padlocks in there. And same thing here, another five boxes that you can loot. Alright, now I'm gonna go back to where I went up. Uh, I went inside the bunker so that I can show you how um, when I do my small loot pattern, uh, I don't have too much time at, on me. Because it, it takes quite a long time, as you can see. Even I'm, I'm not even looting, and this video has already been taking me quite a quite a while to do. So, if you guys are still there with me, thank you. Don't mind it. Always be careful when you go down. If you start jogging, you will fall. character could start limping I don't really want to do that for the video limping the rest of the way my way through Oop. so let's go back to the first bunker where I was I went in I will go in quickly and then I will show you how you can get out same way. It's very easy. It's very very easy. Uh, it's it's mostly about. It's pretty much only about the the max path uh, because they are on a two. They they work on the same line, but they are work on a different um, uh, length, or so they they are never matching at exactly at the same time. So at times they are gonna meet. At times they are gonna be back at each other, and at times they are gonna be in between. So I do believe the one on the left is on its way left already. So we want to go down. Gonna go back in. Oh no. This is not good. <laughs> we are gonna run through that door. And close it behind us. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to wait a minute for him to go boom. Don't be the right Oh, that's interesting. I could, I was able to blow him out through the door. <laughs> ah, he made a mess. Alright, one going left. You can hear the one coming up to him, so it's perfect timing there. This is when I will. Come out. I will wait for him, the one on left, to really come all the way. He's coming here. He should stop before he sees me. Not gonna risk it. There you go. Particularly when he turns himself to, the, to my direction. And there you go. All you gotta do from there, you jog your way up. You can, if you don't feel that you're gonna make it, just hide in this bush and you'll be alright. None of those them are gonna see you, and you would be able to get up up the hill. I would have had the time to run up the hill without him seeing me, but you gotta think that this mech has not been um, like spooked yet. His lights are white. He hasn't seen you yet, but if he had seen me before, he would see me from a much long, uh, much further distance, which would put me at risk. So, if that's the case, then I would come out through the other side and uh, do the rest of my return, simply for that reason. Alright, let's go up, up the hill. There is a lot more loot in there, there is, there is enough. 
usually when you come out of there you you cannot carry as much as what you you, you would like to you have you are overloaded with guns you can find bullets it is rare it has become very rare um, then <clears throat> this is the area on which we have the four alphans I do believe that's a tree before there is four alphans of course so every one of them will have loot, but the quality of the loot I found is not as good as when you go inside uh, the airbase. So guys, that's that will be it. Um, I could show you the rest of it, but I'd rather, um, I'd rather keep it. Uh, that's been I think long enough. The the loot that is over there, you can search those World War II bunker over there. You will find gear. You will find the loot in there in it, but in comparison to the risk that you take uh, in going there and uh, with all the mech all around you, it is not worth as much as when you are inside or even just looting those alphans on which you are inside a building and you are fairly safe, uh, at least from the mechs. Never safe from players, never safe from the zombies, but at least the mechs don't shoot you through that when they don't face through the world <laughs> that has happened all right guys thanks for watching i will see you in the next one and yeah don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already <laughs>